Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we are working on page six. Page six has a four and a half by nine inch pocket. So it's nine inches across, four and a half inches deep. You're going to score a half inch on three sides. Oh my, I'm so warm today. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. We're going to place this pocket on the lower portion of the page. And if I can get it straight, I'm having trouble with straight lines today for some reason. I had to undo a couple of things already. Okay, now the flap is six and a half, six and a half inches tall by eight, eight inches across, six and a half by eight. What did I do with, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Look, I just had it in my hand. If it, I need to clean my desk off is the, pro is the real problem, which that only lasts for about a minute. So it hardly seems worth the effort. Okay. So I am planning on um, using a very large photo mat in here, seven by seven. And then in addition to that, I'm going to add some of those ephemera um, journaling cards inside, and those would be four by six. So that's what I'm planning uh, at the moment. Now we're going to add some magnets. Um, we'll do the top first. So if you're designing your own books, um, I mentioned this on page three, which is uh, the same design. Um, remember that if you're doing a flap over a pocket, that flap has to reach far enough for um, the magnet to be able to secure down here without it wanting to peek up from under the designer paper. So it's just a good rule of thumb. And in this case, you know, it's definitely, I can actually draw a line so you can see there is significant overlap. So there's where my line is. So I've got a lot of room to operate in and that's what you want. Okay, there we go. So there is page six. I'll be back in a few minutes with my designer paper and I promise I'm gonna clean up my desk so I don't keep losing things. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, everyone, let's finish working on, what am I working on? I'm trying to upload and do videos at the same time. I'm getting lost. Okay, close that. Okay, we're working on page six, page six. So this is from the patterns and uh, from the uh, collection. This is patterns and solids, patterns and solids, all patterns and solids for the inside. So this comes from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And you can tell by the size of the, or the scale of the print. And, you know, I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on page three and put a little tab here just to help show or indicate that um, that this is a flap and that you need to, to tug on it to open it up. I'm going to tape it down. Put tape on the, to hold this together, to pinch it together. And then I'm going to put some fat tape on the inside. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to fold this in half. There we go. And we need to put this at four inches. That's right there. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more tape. All right. Now we're ready to install this. I know it doesn't look like it, but I swear to you guys that I cleaned my desk when I took a break. <laughs> I look at it, it's like, sure, <laughs> sure you did. 
Oh. Left my drawer open. go. Hold that down right next to the ribbon. Make sure I've got glue all the way around it. It's kind of fat uh, for this purpose, but I use my organza on the cover. These are really hard to make bows out of, so I decided I was going to use it inside somehow. Okay, and then there is an additional ribbon. I think it's ivory. Yeah, here it is. So it's very light ivory, but if you've got white in your bag, well, I guess it does go. You could use this one as well. Patterns and solids. We are going to do this, I think. Yes. Okay, so the gray is going to go in the pocket. The nice thing about this simple gray is whatever, it'll look like a frame for whatever your insert is. I changed my tip out. When you buy the tips, you get two sizes. And um, I'm trying the smaller one. I'm not sure. I've gotten so used to the other one. But, you know, I guess if I wasn't always in a hurry, um, I could get used to it. But uh, you save some glue because you're, you know, a lot of times with the other one, you know, I'm, I'm using more than I need. So we'll see. I'm going to give it a try for her for a couple of projects and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I should have dry fit this. It looks, it's right on. Okay, for those of you that um, often wonder, well, how do you put pictures on that um, for graphic collections? I think this is one that you can see. It's pretty easy to put pictures on top of these backgrounds. The uh, collection itself is a lot like, you know, you would see in a 12 by 12 background. Okay, so now we need to put an insert in here. This insert is gonna be seven by seven. And I'm not going to decorate it. And the reason I'm not decorating it is I haven't finished designing uh, page seven and eight. So I don't want to cover this until I've got those, uh, the main parts um, decorated, and then I'll come back and do my inserts based on what I have left over. Now, in addition to that, I'm also going to find it. I'm gonna add some ephemera cards. So I'll decorate this, and then we've got our ephemera slash journaling cards that'll go in here too. So as you can see, it makes a nice gray border around your insert. Alrighty, so that is what page, page six. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs>